Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Anne Shirley of the Green Gables. I'm going to take three fingers from the center at the top and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a pretty good size oval. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. I come down to the bottom and on the left hand side I draw a straight line down. On the right hand side I draw a slight, uh, straight line down. Come back to the left and draw a slightly curved line over, connect. Come right here on the left and I'm going to draw a curved line down off the page. Come to the right hand side, draw another curved line down off the page. Come back inside and we're going to draw a curved line over. And down here on the left I draw a straight line down on the left and a straight line down on the right. Come back over here and on the left hand side I draw a curved line out curve line in, connect, come on the right hand side, curve line out, curve line in, connect. I come right back up to my dot and I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line on the inside of my oval. On the left, come on the right, wavy, wavy, wavy line down, connect on the right. Now come up a little bit and we're going to mimic that line, wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect on the left, come back to the center, wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect on the right. Now right here on the left hand side I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line down, wavy line over, wavy line up, connect on the left, come over here on the right hand side, draw me a slightly wavy line down, wavy line over, wavy line up, connect. Come on the inside of that space and we're going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line down on the left, come on the right hand side, we're going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line down on the right. Now we're going to come back in on the left and we're just going to cross with a curve line, cross with a curve line, cross with a curve line, cross with a curve line. Come on the right hand side we're going to do the same thing. Cross, 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 cross. Now everybody's might look a little bit different because we all draw differently but this is a good start. Now I come back on the left hand side and I'm going to start going with a big curve line up, over, down, and connect. I come on the inside and I draw a slightly curved line on the left, slightly curved line on the right. Come back to the left and add a dot come over to the right, add another dot. Go back to the left and we're just going to draw little straight lines. One, two, three, four, five on the left. One, two, three, four, five on the right. Come right here in the center we're just going to draw a little straight diagonal up, little straight diagonal down. Come on the left, big curve line over, little curve line on the left, little curve line on the right. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, if you have face color, this is peach, you might want to do her face and these are her ears, so you want to do those. If you have it, if you don't you can color it very lightly with pink or brown or just leave it white. Okay, now her hair I'm going to double color. So I start off with my lightest color first and that's yellow-orange. 
And these are her braids, so I'm going to color these in yellow, orange. Always work light to dark. And then I'm going to come back over with scarlet or red. And I color lightly over each one of the spaces with the yellow orange. So I get a double color. Same thing up here, you're going to double color. You don't want a lot of the red, but you don't want no red. Because she does have red hair. Then come down and do her braid on the opposite side. Just a touch of the red so you can kind of see it. Okay? Then you can make her dress any colors you want. I decided to do mine pink and I'm just drawing lines all the way down and around because now I'm going to come back in with another color, a darker color, and fill it in on the opposite side. On this one I'm doing scarlet because that's what I have handy. You don't really have to color it in, you're just making sure that whoops, you have some lines of color so you can see. And then I come up and this is her straw hat. So first I do some wavy lines of yellow color and then I lightly color over the whole entire hat. So this is all yellow. Then because it looks very monochromatic, meaning all the same colors, I took my green crayon and I drew straight lines for the background just so that she kind of stands out a little bit and pops all the way down and around. Okay? Let's see what she looks like all colored in. Here's my Anne Shirley of the Green Gables all colored in. Ready to help you out. Okay, bye-bye.